All right. Let's see here. Refresh the page. Okay. I'm messing around with some extensions. I have no idea what they do. One of them should be closed captions. But I I don't know. Caption detected. Uh whoops. Let's see. What does this say? Refresh the page, sometimes issue with Twitch. Hey, I wanna read that. Ask the broadcaster if they have captions on. If they don't, they can visit uh what are this? Hey, come on. Where is it? You can visit <laughs> whatever. It's not gonna let me view it, huh? Uh, let's see. Let's see if we can get this working. Click on to start closed captioning. Turn on. Uh, yeah, use my microphone. Did that work? Did that do something? Uh, okay, so I do see closed captions, but I'm not sure if they're accurate or not. Let me... Where is that sound coming? Oh, sound's coming from this? Okay, hold on, there we go. Let's pause that one. And then let me take a look back at my stream manager. <laughs> Closed captions aren't working. Okay, we're turning this off. Um, I don't know how you turn this off. Let's turn this off. Turn off. Okay. Well, that was a, that was a mess. Didn't quite work. Um, and I think I have another one here. Let's see. I have this one called Latest Followers. Edit your extensions while being live. Engage with your audience with extensions. Swap your active extensions. Visit my extensions. Okay, let's do that. Um, right, we're going to get rid of this closed captioner. I'm going to uninstall this. This isn't good. It probably just doesn't pick up my, my, uh, my audio too good. Okay, and then Latest Followers somehow is uh, active. Apparently you can exchange bits to celebrate how long you've been following my channel by sharing their follow time in the panel for you and all other viewers to see. Celebrations can also send a message to chat. Uh, choose a maximum number of recent followers to show at any one time. Sure, let's set it at 100. It's the default, right? We'll see how it works on, on default. And then... Go with it from there. Okay, let's see. Right. <clears throat> now that we've done some stream maintenance... <coughs> I should have got my... Oh, I do have some water here. Now that we've got stream maintenance out and um, done... What am I doing? I want to continue the 5D storyline. So I've actually been doing a lot... Uh, not a lot, but a bit of story work on... Um, what's going on here and like I'm especially drawn to Carly Carmine. I recently watched the episode where Carly Carmine became the dark signer and um, Read up on what happens to her afterwards and honestly like I'm actually into everything that happened So here's what I've got written down. Let me just go ahead and uh, do this for you. So here, Here's the things I've got written down for Carly Carmine. One, she loves Jack uh, Two, she is killed and reborn against her will like, she didn't want to be, you know, killed by Sayer and then reborn by the Earth Band Immortals. But she had no choice in the matter. Um, she became evil as the Earth Band Immortals wanted her to revive Jack as an evil, uh, as evil, and then they rule the world together. That's kind of like her perversion of, you know, the Earth Band Immortals' uh, desires. Because the Earth Band Immortals want to kill the, the signers, Jack's a signer. And um, so Carly Carmine probably just, you know, interpreted that as, uh, what was it? Yeah, no, I'm going to turn him into a dark signer, then we can, you know, rule together as evil king and queen. Like, that's what dark signer Carly Carmine thought, I think. Um, but then, you know, she's defeated by Jack, she vanishes, that's pretty impactful. That, like, lends credence to, like, the whole idea of, hey, look, the, the big bad guy of this arc, Rex Godwin, uh, sorry, Rex Goodwin, is, uh, he, he's, pretty, he's pretty bad. Like, he needs to be defeated because he's, you know, his actions have caused, you know, Jack to lose his lover and Carly Carmine to lose her life. Um, but, 
when they defeated Rex Goodwin in the anime, um, all the dark signs came back, and Carly Carmine lost her memories. Like, come on, you dropped the ball. Like, that would be that would have been a fantastic character growth. Like, sure, she can come back, she can revive, but keep her memories of everything that happened. Like, do you think that her character will be destroyed by the fact that she, you know, can't remember any of this stuff? Like, I, I think her character, like, it's a wasted potential. Like, all of that arc with um, Carly Carmine being evil. And then, like, at the end of the arc, she's killed. Uh, not not killed. Um, the um, the big bad guy is defeated, and then the um, and then she comes back, and she's forget she's forgotten everything. No, that's not good. Keep keep her being, you know, evil. Well, not evil. Like, I actually have a diagram of this. I'm not sure if I I'm not sure how well this would go on screen, but let me see here. Uh, where is it? I can't get this thing to focus. Let me see if I can get this thing to focus. Oh. Can you focus? Um, no, not really. Where? How do I... There we go. You should be able to see that, I think. So, this thing here is a diagram. So you see over here, it's hard to see. Over here we have an angel guy. He's got a halo on his head. Then next one, it's hard to see, but he's uh, he's got two X's in his eyes. So he goes from angel to dead, to devil to dead. To Angel Devil. That's how I want all of these things to, to go. Like, that's... Uh, how to say? Just readjusting my image here. That's like, you know, the, the potential they can get in a story arc like Carly Carmine's. If they don't forget the time that they were, you know, evil. Like, that's just... Don't do that. That's wasted potential. You're literally wasting time by doing that. But anyway. Um, it would have been much better if, you know, she remembered all of her evil stuff. And then carried on um, good, but while knowing, while having grown. Like, it's character growth. Like, you can't get character growth by forgetting everything. It's just ridiculous. Anyway, we're going to be doing Tricking the Trickster. Jack Atlas was able to defeat Dragon, but he was quickly dispatched by Team Ragnarok's next duelist, Broder. So Crow got his chance in the Grand Prix. Crow versus Broder was next. Uh, cool. Story deck. We get to play as Black Queen. Fantastic. Hey Tannis. My cat's just recently come back out from outside. Let's see if we can get a good view of him. Uh, there he is. Hey Tannis. <laughs> Hi. What? Can we focus this thing in? Uh, nope, that's blurry. Uh, I guess that's the best we're going to get, huh? Okay, cool. Uh, whoop. Let's rotate this like this. I don't want to see my door. Okay, there we go. Cool. Just gonna check something here. Okay, fantastic. Right, let's go first. I don't know if he's running good black wings or not. I hope he is. Black Whirlwind is a fantastic card to start off with. This card gives you a lot of... Oh, here comes my other cat. She wants to... Hold on. Need to make way on the... On here. Come on, Leela. There we go. You can just see her tail there. Um, she probably wants to go on my windowsill here, so I'll do that. Go on, babe. Okay. <coughs> right, right, we started with Sirico. <coughs> Basically a worse uh, cyber dragon. During your opponent's battle phase, you can draw no monsters, you can banish the card from the graveyard, target synchro monster in the graveyard, special summon it, but banish it at the end of the battle phase. This is a quick effect. So you're level 4, what synchros are we using? We're using 7 and 8. Okay, we've got Black Winged Dragon. So Zephyr Breeze of... Sorry, Black Winged Breeze of the Zephyr. It was added from your deck to your hand by a card effect, you need to special summon it. Uh, not good. What is this? Send one Black Winged Monster from your hand to the graveyard to select one defense position monster your opponent controls. Leela! What are you up to, baby? She's trying to get through my blinds. Oh, no. Talila? Yeah, okay, let me open this for you. This is going to sound a bit weird. There we go. Hopefully that hasn't changed the uh, the lighting in my room that much. I actually am on medication right now, which makes me sensitive to sunlight. I like to call it the vampire medicine. So I'm going to have to 
Whoop. I'm gonna have to do something like that. There we go. Right. Blackwing, Black Whirlwind, let's go. With less attack than that monster, okay. So I guess we'll do... Um, what is it? Do we have anything that has less attack than this thing? Because I want to get... What is it? Yeah, let's see what we have that's less than 600. Just Blackwing Mistral the Silver. If this card on the field destroyed and sent to the graveyard, reduce the next battle damage you take this turn to zero. Okay. Okay. So, the deck is a bit slow. We're relying on our normal summons. We have no special summon means just yet. Yeah, Defender will punch over my monster. That's fine. Just want to do, to do that to get a search. Okay, Icarus attack is great. Then we can normal summon this guy. Black Whirlwind gives us a search. Now what do we have? We have Bora the Spear, which is fantastic. What is this? Resoat the Tailwind? Interesting. And this one. Oh, we've already seen that one. Uh, right. I feel like we need to go into Bora the Spear. And I don't know why. But we'll go into Bora the Spear. We'll special summon Bora. Alright. And let's go and pummel. Defender protects itself once. And then my monster destroys it. Fantastic. This thing looks a bit out of focus here. Uh, can't really get it all that into focus, huh? <laughs> Freaking trap searches, what? It really confuses the heck out of me. Uh, we have Icarus attack, we're not going to use it. Uh, sure, we have Blackwing Strafe. We'll discard this and destroy that. Well, not destroy, just send it to the graveyard. Uh, okay. What do you do? Target one black wing. Oh yeah, you, you sum up the, the attacks, huh? <coughs> Alright, let's summon Zephyr. Whoops, did not mean to do that. Zephyr attacks, everyone attacks. And then we can synchro summon into something big. We can go into uh, Black Wing Dragon, actually. Or we can go into Armor Master, whatever our level 7 was. Golden Apples, huh? Cool. Okay, main phase 2. Let's see. Oh, we can only go into Black Wing Armor Master. That's fine. Do we have a cool animation for this? Nope. Okay. Cool. So we have four, we have five, they have uh, six. Not that it matters that much. What is this? A black return. When exactly one black wing monster is special summoned, target one monster your opponent controls, face up monster, gain life points equal to it, and then return it to the hand. Interesting. Alright, go ahead and summon this thing. I don't think we can get any searches off this. No, okay. Uh, but we can tune into something else. We can tune into another Blackwing Armor Master. Sure, why not? We miss out on a little bit of damage by doing this, and we're down another card. But, you know. Who cares? I don't even know what, what we're fighting. We're fighting Loki, right? We're fighting Nordics. Nordics don't have a ghost of a chance. I actually did the uh, Dra Dragon um, Duelist Challenge last night off stream. 
And he actually almost got me. I was playing Fabled, and he almost got me. And I think I was down to like three cards in my deck because I just kept drawing everything, even though I was under the lock of um, Reckless Greed. Uh, can't make use of that. Okay. But yeah, I, I effectively beat him because the effect of Thor is terrible. Thor, just to explain that a little bit. Thor does, um, oh, what does he do? Um, Thor special summons himself from the graveyard by banishing a Nordic beast tuner from his graveyard, which is incredibly specific. He had some Nordic tuners, but he didn't have any Nordic beast tuners. So I got rid of him once, he came back, and then I got rid of him again, and he couldn't come back anymore. Then he used Call of the Haunted on it, and, uh, you see, Thor's effect only triggers, um, Thor's effect to special summon itself can only trigger if it is destroyed by your card effect. So what you do is if it's brought back by Call of the Haunted, you destroy Call of the Haunted with your card, and then that destroys, um, that destroys Thor with his own card effect. So he doesn't even get his ability, which is hilarious. What do we need to bring out of this thing? Just two, ch okay. Now, I don't even know what the average defense of his things are. I think we might be able to get through him with, uh, with Kochi. Let's try it. Ah, okay. Well, worth the shot. I think the Nordics also got a Link Support monster, didn't they? That would be cool if they got Link Support. Setting another card, huh? Not gonna help you out, my main, my mate. My main friend. We'll do Icarus Attack, blowing this thing up, and then we'll get rid of whatever the heck you just set to protect yourself. <laughs> it wasn't even protecting him. The mad lad. Okay. We're just going to attack and win. Nothing to it. Crow and Broder ended in a draw, eliminating them both. The final round came down to Yusei versus Holdor. Well, thanks, thanks, storyline. Nothing like feeling railroaded. This is Destiny's moment. Now whom will she favour? Ah, uh, excuse me. The path walked by we with runes in our eyes, or the path walked by those bearing the mark of the Crimson Dragon? Do me a favour, Haldor. Leave Destiny out of this. It's just you and me and the cards we play. Nothing else matters. Now let's do this. Alright, cool. Let's hope you say it's running a good deck. We're towards the end of the the, the uh, campaign here. So hopefully he does. Uh, he, is a, he is a scissors man. Papers man. Paper man. Okay. Oh well, means we get to respond to what he does. We have 13 cards in our extra deck, which is pretty good. DD Sprite... This seems a hand trap, isn't it? No, it's not. Wait, what? Oh yeah, yeah no, you can, you can summon this thing. Okay. There's normal summon, special summon number of compass token up to the number of monsters your opponent controls. Okay. And then Junk Synchron. I mean, we'll use Tuning. See if we can get into Quick Draw. We don't have Quick Draw. Okay. Good to know. Uh, okay. I think we're just going to find another Junk Synchron. We don't really have anything good in our hand. Oh, we discarded Quill Bolt, though. Ah, it looked like we want to go into Shooting Star Dragon. Okay, I see, I see. So, Formula Synchron is good. Uh, how are we going to bring that thing out, though? Oh, simple. We use com Cosmic Compass. And then we summon this, use this, but then we only have a level 2 tuner on the field. Your opponent's life points is at least 1,000 higher than yours. Pay 1,000, draw a card for every 2,000 points difference between your life points and your opponent's. Okay? 
Uh, oh, actually, we can do Twin Twisters. Discard. Destroy that. That's the yellow one I want to blow up. Nordic Relic, whatever that thing is. It's attack and defense are doubled. Interesting. Alright, we'll go Junk Synchron. And then Junk Synchron activates. We'll special summon our Cosmic Compass. Then we can go ahead and do Quill Bolt. So three for five, we can go into level six. I don't think we have level sixes. No, we only have Junk Warrior. Um, but, okay, we can do this anyway. Banish that, bring out DD Sprite. Go ahead and tune into Formula. Go ahead and get a card. I think we've wasted so much just to get this thing out. This is a misplay. This is definitely a misplay. Uh, but yeah, we get this out. Oh, we get Doppel Warrior. Interesting. Uh, cool. Alright, we'll pass our turn here. <sighs> okay, look like they... Oh, they're not synchro. Can you even synchro? You can't even synchro right now. How unfortunate for you. Do we have a... We don't have a level 4, do we? Mm, no. Okay. So, we want to use this to go out into Shooting Star Dragon, I believe. Uh, what can we bring back? We can bring three... Uh, we, we can't actually bring back anything. Not just yet. Alright. Junk Synchron, let's go. Yep, use this effect. Go out into pff, Cosmic Compass, I guess. Sure, let's do that. Oh! I forgot Doppel Warrior special summons himself. This is amazing. Okay, now we can actually do something. Five, we can tune you and you together. Junk Warrior. Fantastic. Gains 300? Oh, no! Oh, no. <laughs> I misclicked. I misclicked. Oh well. Right, what will this thing attack? We'll attack that. Oh, you're gonna double this attack? Nice. Very good. Alright, that's the end of my turn. <clears throat> Tier of the Nordic Champions. Alright, I think we're probably gonna have to retry this battle. Nope, that's fine. But we do still have hope for escape, face down. Quillbolt. Not gonna really do too much for us. We'll set Quillbolt. And then we'll pass a turn. Okay, that's fine. We're gonna take two, three... Three thousand... Six hundred. That's fine. More than fine. Alright. We get a draw. See what we get. We get Compulse. Excellent. We'll do Hope for Escape. Pay a thousand and then we draw a bunch of cards. When card you control is destroyed by your opponent's card effect. Uh, send to your graveyard, select one Sardis Dragon in your graveyard, special summon to face up defense mode. You can move this card from play in the graveyard, select one face up Dragon Synchro Multi Control once per turn. Cannot be destroyed by battle, but each time this effect is applied, it loses 800 attack and defense. Not good. Well, we can go into something relatively big. We do Junk Syn uh, Synchron Explorer, bring out Junk Synchron again. Or we can do Synchron Formula. So, two, four, five, six, nah. We're doing Junk Synchron. Okay, go ahead and go out into another Junk Warrior. 
get something relatively large on the field. And we're not going to attack just yet. Because if he had another one of those cards that doubles his monster's attack, we're dead. So just do that. Junk Warrior doesn't even get his effect. We'll set this. And we'll wait and respond for whatever he does. Okay, you are tuning. Let me take a look at this thing. Once per turn, you can make this card be unaffected by a spell trap card effect to the end of the turn. Once per turn, during the end phase, this face-up card you control was destroyed, sent to the graveyard, banish one Nordic, ascend a tuner. Uh, yeah, well, we're gonna use Compulse on it. Bada boom. <laughs> Very satisfying. <coughs> okay, what is this? Give me 1500 defense. Uh, okay, okay, okay. I'll... Mm, if I attack this, thing can special summon some more tokens. And I don't have strong enough monsters to defend myself if I do get attacked again. Okay, we'll set Sonic check. And we'll go and attack. Yeah, you get two tokens. That's fine. Both level 3. I can't remember what level Odin was. We can actually check using this. Um, for level 10, okay. 3, 6. So he needs a level 4 tuner in order to bring that thing back out again. And if he does, good for him. Was that the level 4 that he needed? No, maybe not. Hey, hey. Okay. Start a Shaolong. Once per turn of this card will be destroyed by battle, it's not in, it's instead not. Okay, we'll set that for now. And we'll just go ahead and we'll blow up um, this face, this token here. If he does get out that uh, Odin guy, then we're a bit boned. Because it can just attack over our monster. Uh, yeah, this card is not destroyed by battle. Yeah, if he does beat us over, then that's going to be pretty bad for us. We'll go ahead and we'll set this. So we can actually go into... 5, 6, 7, 8. We can go into Stardust. Um, and we can get Stardust Shaolong back out. But that thing's not going to help us literally at all. Because we need Stardust Shaolong in order to go into, what, Majetic Dragon or... Tuna Synchro... Hmm. Wait, can you... You can use Formula Synchron to, you know, summon on their turn. During your opponent's main phase, you can quick effect immediately after this effect resolves. Synchro summon using this card you control. Okay, so what does a Shooting Star Dragon do? Activate top five cards, your deck shuffle them back in. Once per turn. Card's maximum number of attacks equals the number of tuners. Once per turn, when a card or effect that would destroy a card in the field is activated, you can negate the effect and destroy it. Once per turn, when opponent's monster declares an attack, you can target the attacking monster, banish this card, and if you do negate the attack during the end phase, special summon this banished card by this effect. Okay, that sounds good. So I think we do kind of want to go into... Um, we want to go into Stardust here. So, 5, 6, 7, 8. Going to be a pretty big monster, or a pretty big cost, should I say. Wait a second. Wait, yeah, no, we can actually tune into uh, Formula Synchron first, and draw a card, and then we can Synchro into Stardust, because the levels on our field are still the same. Okay, let's try this. So we'll do this first. This thing is a tuner. So we'll do that. Formula Synchron lets us draw a card. Ooh, Dark Hole. Fantastic. Okay, and then we're absolutely going to go into Stardust here. Now, here's the fun thing. If he does something that destroys my Stardust Dragon, I can banish it, negate it, and then during my standby, uh, during my main phase 2, I can just Dark Hole everything. That'd be fantastic.
Uh, sure, let's activate Stardust Shaolong. How often do we get to activate Stardust Shaolong? It's in attack mode! We've lost. We have just lost, my friends. Uh, there's no way we can get around this, is there? We can do another glow up, Bob. Do we have another formula synchron? We don't. Wait. Eight, nine, ten. Wait a second. We've lost. No! Stardust Shaolong, why did you do this? Why did I not read your card effect properly? Eight, nine, ten. Uh, no, that won't work. Won't work at all. Uh, okay, I surrender. Uh, yeah, 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 I'm aware of the card tip. Thank you very much. Let's try this again. <laughs> Lost because of Stardust Shaolong. I did not expect it. Still Paper Man, huh? Fantastic. I'll go first. Uh, interesting startup. Alright. Set Quillbolt. Set a card. Pass turn. Standard new play. Ooh, Valhalla. Sexy. Oh, it returns to my hand? If it battles a level 4 or lower monster. Interesting. <clears throat> okay, well, Dark Hole. Good riddance. And then I'll summon Quillbolt, and I'll attack directly. Might not sound like a good idea, but I'm doing it. It's not like we have 500 life points anymore. Okay, okay, that's fine. Ouch. And ouch. Uh, I can activate Call of the Haunted, okay. I'm not going to do that just yet. Tuning, fantastic. Can we get Glow Up Bulb in the graveyard? That is my question. Oh no, that was Hope for Escape. There goes our hope. Alright, summon junk. Activate effect, we're going to go into um, junk warrior. Go ahead, junk warrior. Most standard play ever. I'm pretty sure this play was in the uh, the the five D's synchro like structure deck or like starter deck even. All right, let's hope you don't have honest in your hand. Fantastic. All right, main base two. We will set twin twisters just in case something goes awry. Ooh, dark hole. Cool. Fine by me. Uh, yep, I will indeed activate Twin Twisters. I'll discard DD Sprite. Destroy that. It's no longer out on the field to resolve, so it's gone. Get wrecked! You're not summoning two monsters on my turn. Oh, and you, you know what? I'm actually gonna call the Haunted on you. And then go into Drunk Warrior. The socket Haldor. Oh, scrap iron! I love it. All right, Junk Synchron. Activate effect. Yes. Come on into. We could bring out DD Sprite. Uh, we don't have any level 6s. We literally only have, like, Junk Warrior and the Stardust Dragons. <clears throat> so, we'll bring out DD Sprite, just as a, you know, extra defense. 
And then we'll use the effect of uh, Quillbolt Hedgehog. Great. Now we can go into either one of these two. I feel like we need to go into a second copy of Junk Warrior. Just so that we have two attackers this time instead of just one. <clears throat> yep, yeah, okay. Cool, now we can attack. We've literally got both field and card advantage. Nice. That Dark Hole really turned out well for us. Well, did we activate Dark Hole? I think we did. Yeah, we did. Okay. Dark Hole and Twin Twisters both worked for us. He activates his own Dark Hole. It's been a while since I've seen two decks running Dark Hole. Uh, sure. You're just going to attack? Is that literally all you're going to do? You just summon that thing to attack. Not the wisest of play, I'll tell you that much. No, oh, I feel a sneeze coming on. Sure, let's do let's do this. See what we can get going with this. Um, dog one monster in your graveyard with five hundred less attack. Special summon it in attack position. We don't have a monster, I don't think, right? No. One second, I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> 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 Oh, okay. Cool. Alright, what are we doing here? Uh, we're just attacking and we're winning. Cool. I think I also need to go downstairs quickly and... Uh, so yeah, I'll be right back. I need to go close my back door because my cats don't actually want to go out. Okay. Try not to run over the wire on my headset, please. <laughs> Look at his eyes. You say defeated Haldor and Team 5D's moved on to the finals. Fantastic. Oh, we get two copies of Valhalla. Nice. Alright, beginning of the end. The final match of the World Racing Grand Prix was Team 5 Deeds vs Team New World. The first round was Jack vs Lester. The final match was about to begin. Not sure how I feel about this game skipping over who these characters are. Like who's Lester? Tell me that. I'm going first here. So these guys all use Mechlord Emperors. Um, I can't quite remember the effect of the Mechlord Emperor that he uses. But we'll find out pretty soon. Um, so the whole thing about Mechlord Emperors is they, you know, they steal your Synchro Monsters. Which is pretty bad. We'll go ahead and we'll set Dark Resonator here. I feel like the best way to go around this guy is to wait until he summons his Mechlord Emperor first and then do stuff. The space up defense position card cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects. Well, we'll go ahead and we'll flip this thing up. And then we'll summon another Dark Resonator. We're not going to Synchro Summon, are you mad? Oh, here comes my cat. Just going to hold on to my um, webcam here. Ah, and my cat is sitting on my keyboard. Hey, baby. Okay, so we've got that going. We're just doing a non-synchro control deck. I'm gonna close this. 
There we go. Setting two cards on the field. And then two more cards on the field. What is this? Um, okay, who's the next highest attack monster we can get? We can actually get card guard. Italy. Mwah. Hey, baby. Whoop. Okay. And she's constantly trying to rub her face against my my mouse hand. Leela, you're on my keyboard. Hey. Hold on, let me just move this keyboard out of the way. There we go. Uh, whoops. Uh oh. Webcam almost fell over. Uh, angle it that way, please. I need to brush my hair, Jesus. I only just woke up recently. <laughs> okay, so we've got all that going. We can activate this, right? Yep, there we go. Place it on here. <laughs> this dark resonator is gonna be our our life our lifeblood here. Attack. Yep, get wrecked. Uh, okay, interesting. Uh, right, we can't actually get over that. We should have kept the counter on car guard, now that I think about it. Okay, oh well. We know next time. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Yeah, that will happen. Okay. Hey, Leela. Hey. Okay, how are we going to do this? Well, Vice Dragon is... Yeah, we'll just tribute one to summon Vice Dragon. Okay. I mean, I know we can Synchro Summon, but I don't want to. Ooh, Wabaku. Interesting. Interesting tech. Main Phase 2, we'll change this to Defense Mode, and we'll pass. Why is your... Oh, interesting. You gonna crash? No? Oh, you're piercing. I forgot about that. That's pretty cool. Okay, we'll set this. Let's see. Face up defense position card cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects. Lula. Sure, we'll summon... We'll go ahead and try a Synchro Summon. We're definitely going to go into a trap here. But there's no other way around these guys. So... We'll just bring out Red Dragon Archfiend. Any traps? No, not yet. Fantastic. Let's see. We can actually get out Red Nova Dragon, huh? How much attack reach in the graveyard can be destroyed by card effects. When this card declares an attack, you can banish the attacking monster. Banish this card, and if you do, negate the attack. So, okay. Interesting. So yeah, we'll summon Creation Resonator. And then we'll go into Red Nova. Alright, and then we'll indeed go into Red Dragon, Red Nova Dragon. I wonder if this has um, animation as well. This is the first time I'm ever summoning this creature. No animation, huh? A 6,000 attack. That's incredible. 
<laughs> Wabaku. Okay. That's fine. Cool. Alright, go into your Mechlord Emperor Wyzeal or whatever the hell you're going into. Oh, yep, here we go. Yep. Oh, Skeel. Okay. Well, you're not using your. Oh no, there we go. Yep, GG. <laughs> what the fuck? What type of freaking text is that? What the hell? Come on, game. Be careful, the opponent may special summon Mechlord Emperor Skeel if you destroy a monster with an effect. Well, come on, Lee. What type of... What type of card tip is that? Be careful. Yeah, sure, be careful. I think that's the first time it, this game actually got me to swear on stream. I am so mad. Okay. Oh, we, we have Rocket Warrior. Change one face-up monster on the field level by one or reduce it by one. Okay. So we'll do that. We'll go into Rocket Warrior. And then we'll also set Call of the Haunted. And you know what? Just because they have uh, MST, I'm going to set this one as well. Just to make it a little bit more difficult for them to pick which one we need. Which one they need. Foolish, okay. Okay, go ahead and summon Dark Rezo. I mean, yeah, we could go into Red Dragon and Archreen right now, but we're not going to do that. We just be attacking. Ooh, what does that do? Can it be targeted by the effect of Synchro Monsters? When this card is destroyed, sent to the graveyard, add on Mechlord Emperor Monster from your deck to your hand. Alright, you gonna blow it up? Cool, now we know not to Synchro Summon. I think it's 2500 defense, right? Or attack, right? Okay. Send this face-up card you control to the graveyard, target one face-up monster you control. If it attacks this turn, your opponent cannot activate card or effects that target a monster until the end of the damage step. Uh, do we win? If he doesn't have a trap card, let's try it. So for, we'll activate Star Changer. Change this to a level 5. Increase level by 1. Then we'll go ahead and we'll do a Synchro. I mean, he probably has Wabaku, right? Alright, we can special summon Red Nova. And summon Force Resonator. Uh, oh, we can't Synchro Summon, really? Why not? 8, 9, 10. Ah, right, I see. Makes sense. Whoop. Come on, Lee. I don't want you on my desk, girl. Hey. It's a bit too dangerous for you there. Well, not dangerous, but... She'll knock things over, and that means I have to go and pick them up. It's pretty much all just, like, you know, plates and such. Um, so nothing that'll actually hurt her, but... I just don't want to have to bring the Hoover in here. Alright, let's see. Send this card you control to the graveyard. Target one face-up monster you control. If it attacks this turn, your opponent can have activate card or effects uh, that target a monster until the end of the damage step. Okay. Um, we can get out Dark Resonator. 
So this is three... Uh, sure, we'll try it. Dark Resonator, come on out. Special Summon, this thing. Using one, two, and three. This thing is a freaking high level. All right. Uh, yeah, activate Red Nova. Go ahead, bring out Flare Resonator, I guess. Oh, it goes in defense mode. Nice. So, what does this thing affect again? Um, can't be destroyed by card effects. When opponent wants to declare an attack, you can banish this card, and if you didn't get the attack, and then special summon it. Okay, we'll activate Force Resonator's effect. Selecting this one. Uh, cool. You only have 5,000 attack? Oh well. Alright. So go ahead and use your Mechlord Emperor, my friend. Oh, you're just setting a card? Oh. Add one Resonator from... Okay. I like this. Uh, what do we have? Can special summon this thing. Then card from your hand to graveyard. Talk one tune monster control. Can it be destroyed by battle and take no damage involving it? Uh, chain resonator. Special summon one, one resonator from. Oh, okay, I see. A special summon a resonator. Nice. Uh, I wish we had another one of those ones that we just used. Um, can we get another level 8? We can't get another level 8. I mean, I guess we could with Pinpoint Guard, right? But that's only when, an, when a monster declares an attack. Um, I mean, sure, we'll add Chain Resonator, I guess. Don't we have one that's a hand trap? Dog one, tune monster control. Uh, I'll just pick out Chain Resonator. Here we go. And then we'll attack and we'll see what happens. You got a Wabaku? No Wabaku, we win. <laughs> hey. Jack was able to dispatch Lester. He now faced the next member of Team New World, Primo. Pretty sure he dies to Primo, doesn't he? Chaos Infinity. We get Mechlord Emperor Skeel. Oh, Lester uses Dark World. Interesting. Let me readjust this again. Is that good? Can you see my shoulders? I feel like you need to see my shoulders in order to communicate with me as a human being. Okay, that should do. For some reason, it always looks a bit out of focus. I'll just do that. Excuse me. Okay. Quit Dawn of the Machines. Oh, does he actually win this one? Really? <laughs> okay, let's get it done. I hope you're ready to be sent to the same place I sent Lester. You talk a pretty big game for such a tiny worm. I'm going to silence you once and for all. <laughs> Story deck, let's go. Uh, you're a scissors man. Nice. <laughs> and of course, Jack changed his deck between battles. What do we have this time? Same things, okay. Uh, right, we can get out our monster first. I'll set this, then I'll activate... Solo Wind Jammer. And then I'll summon Dark Resonator. Pay life point equal to the difference in attack. He wants to gain attack equal to that difference. Plus 300 during damage calculation only. Okay, I mean we can use this to beat over his Mech Lord Emperor when he gets it out. So we can do that, especially since we have the Tricky in our hand. So if he brings out the Emperor, like, that'll be approximately like 5,000, mid-5,000, mid-to-high 5,000s. Mid 
Oh, granule, huh? Okay, uh, yeah, no, we're gonna activate this now. Prideful roar. Bada boom. Boom, baby. You don't have any monsters. An ad effect only lasted until one turn. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, sure, we'll special summon a tricky. And then we'll go and attack. Because that's what we do. I'd love to have another prideful roar, to be honest with you. But we don't have that luxury. If he destroys his own monster, then he can bring out a mech lord, and then we are in a tough spot. Fortress, you gonna blow it up? No? No blowing it up? Okay. Stargate. Uh, we'll activate the tricky. Discard this. Special summon the tricky. We already know that he doesn't have mirror force, because if he did, he would have used it already. Okay. Attack. Playful possum. Attack. Do we win? We win? Well, there we go. Jack defeated Prima as well, but Team New World would soon reveal their true power. So yeah, in Over the Nexus, this battle goes, or this thing here goes completely differently. As I mentioned last stream, um, you have your player-made custom character that, you know, duels against these guys, and Primo goes absolutely berserk for you. Like, he wants to kill you immediately. I need to readjust this. I feel like this is always blurry. Maybe it's just my eyes that are blurry. Or whatever. I don't know. Also, my background is extremely bright. That's a little less bright, I guess. Okay. Try and get that angled correctly. There we go. Cool. Uh, Dawn of the Machines. Oh, what's your... Oh, you use a Malethic Truth. Okay, interesting. Uh, yeah, in Over the Nexus, your character is in the team with Yusei and Jack, and uh, you're waiting for your, you know, your destiny cards to reveal themselves. The, um, uh, the, the three white cards to reveal themselves. And, uh, so the, so Jack and, uh, Yusei are like, okay, we're going to go fight them first and wait until your cards come, come to life. So then, uh, Primo is out on the, the dueling track. He's like, yeah, I want to, I want to defeat your character. Like, in my name, I called my character Win. I want to defeat Win. Like, where's Win? Let me get at her immediately, because I tend to play female characters. And, um, so he goes flawless against Jack and Yusei, and then you have to go up against him. And then, of course, you beat him. And then you beat, uh, the little guy. Then you beat the big guy. And then you win. Turns out that the three blank cards that you got were, one, Trish Love the Ice Barrier. Two, um, what is it? Ally of Justice, Decisive Armor. And three, I think it's Trident Dragon. Which is a bit weird. I don't know... I don't really think Trident Dragon is a great card. Okay, Victory or Doom. Even though Jack defeated two members of Team New World, he was quickly dispatched by their third member, Jacob. The fate of Team Five Deeds once again rested in Yusei's hands. Jacob revealed his true intentions and a glimpse of the future to Team 5Ds. You have no concept of the powers you're up against, do you? Well, allow me to show you. Well, where are we? Are we dreaming? This is no dream, this is the future. I just realized you have something in your head. The future of the place that you call New Domino City. The whole world is destroyed. How is this our future? By way of chain reaction, you fool. A reaction that starts with your precious Synchro Monsters. I will show you how Synchros look, took over the world and destroyed the human race. As dueling evolved, the world evolved along with it. And with the great popularity of Synchro Monsters came great prosperity. The people of New Domino enjoyed Synchro Summoning so much that the activity generated enormous amounts of NOD. But there was a steep price to pay. And guess who paid it? We did. The people created so much NAD that the NAD reactor could not handle such a massive amount of energy. The NAD reactor spun out of control, leading to another zero reverse catastrophe. This triggered other NAD reactors to surge worldwide. The world as we knew it changed for the worse. You lie. I refuse to believe that zero reverse happened again, Jacob. You can refuse all you like, but it's the truth. I know because I was there, you say. I know because I am from the future. 
I all saw it all happen firsthand. So, this really is our future. You paint a dreadful picture and you pin all the blame on something I put my deepest faith in. Synchro summoning. Then your faith is misplaced. Like any great power, it could cause great harm if misused. But if championed by the righteous, it can create good. Yes, that's what everyone said before the world crumbled. You're wrong. Our fate isn't set. And I'll prove it. It's clear you don't understand how destiny works. Not only is it still certain, your actions have helped usher it along. Now I'm forced to take drastic measures. The three of us shall combine. At long last, this battle can be fought with all our powers. And in one spiffy package. Who are you? This didn't happen in Over the Nexus. Who are you? I'm Aporia. I will wipe New Domino City off the map. Are you out of your mind? Millions of people live here. Once I win this duel, the city will be destroyed. And my future reborn. I've seen what's in store for all of us. And I will not stand by and forsake the future. So ready yourself, you say. Because it all ends now. Suddenly, a massive structure known as the Divine Temple appeared in the sky. It slowly began to descend toward New Domino City. If the Divine Temple crashed into the ground, it would destroy the entirety of New Domino City. You know, there's probably easier ways to destroy a city other than conjure this giant other temple that crashes into it. Uh, story deck. Let's see how we can do this. Um, you're Rockman for sure. Uh, so, in Over the Nexus, once you beat Jacob, they don't feud like this. You have to fight Jacob, and once you beat Jacob, that's it. That's the game. The game's over. You save the world, the game's over. <sighs> okay. What do we got here? 15 cards in our deck. Uh, oh, we have uh, the Red Dragons. Nice. And we also have the Black Winged Dragon. Uh, cool. We also have Formula Synchron, which is nice. Uh, my eyes are a bit watery here. Ugh, okay. You can tribute this card to draw and reveal a card. If it's a level 1 monster, draw one more card. The effect of Pied Piper can only be activated once per turn. If you control a face-up tuna monster, you can special summon this card from your hand in face-up defense mode. All warrior-type monsters you control gain 300 attack. Okay. We'll play tuning. Do we have, uh, we don't have the good one. Okay. We'll just, what do you do again? Okay, you just do piercing. We'll claim Junk Synchron. Oh, a Rota, huh? We got rid of a Rota. Then we do Rota. Uh, we'll get another Junk Synchron. Okay. Should we? Uh, sure, let's do Pied Piper. Why not? Mystic Piper, go ahead to use your effect. Tribute yourself, I draw a card. It is not level 1, but it is a Tuno. It is a Tuning. So we'll do that. We'll get another, you know, Tuno monster. I mean, why not add Drill Synchron, right? We need a bit of variety in our hand. Oh no, Scrap Iron Scarecrow? Please say it's not so. Well, I can't do anything right now. Let's see what his deck has to offer. Mechlord Army of Skeel, okay. Okay, so it's a floater. It floats into other mech lords. Synchron Blast Wave. Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and we'll summon Junk Synchron. Synchron will activate its ability. Go ahead, bring out Mystic Pied Piper. Effect is negated, but funnily enough, you can still actually use its effect. So, the reason why this works is tributing it is a cost, and you can't negate costs. Uh, cool, we can now special summon Boost Warrior to the field. And now we can Synchro. We're going to go into good old Junk Warrior. Let's go. Alright, and then I'll play this. Destroy that means you don't get your. Oh! We can attack over it. We can attack over it. Let's do it. Get wrecked! Get wrecked! Okay, fantastic. 
<laughs> you end your turn. You're a great boss. Ooh, breakthrough skill. This is going to be great. Um, Dragon 1 Synchron. Uh, we can go out into another level 5. Uh, or we can even go out into Stardust Dragon. So, I think... Yeah, we'll do Synchron Explorer. We'll go out into this. For now, we'll go out into another Drunk Warrior. Just so we have an additional fighter on our team. An additional attacker. We have more damage this way. Otherwise, we'd have had to have used Junk Warrior as a Synchro Material. And that's not going to work. You know, Junk Warrior might work with Skull King of Skull Servants, right? That might be an interesting thing to do. King of Skull, Skull, Skull Servants, Junk Warrior strats. Oh, Breakthrough Skill? That's fine. I need to take a look at Breakthrough Skill here quickly. Uh, once I'm allowed to do something. Uh, you can banish this card from your graveyard, target one effect, monster your opponent controls. That target has its effect negated. If we get another Junk Synchron, okay. Well, we're just gonna keep going, I guess. Yep. Uh, sure. And now we will go into Stardust Dragon, just in case he has something annoying. Plus, we need to summon Stardust Dragon at least once, as you say, in whatever battle we're fighting. Whatever duel we're doing. Just gonna change window here quickly. Uh, let's see. Yeah, just reading some uh, messages. I'm part of a D&D group, um, and we're talking about whether or not we're playing tomorrow or not. I actually have another D&D game later on today, uh, the one that I'm running. So I'm just doing this because I'm fairly certain I know exactly what's going to happen so far, so I don't need to plan. What the heck is this thing? You see this this thing up here? <laughs> oh, I failed. New Domino and his people are safe. You did it! Not me. All of us. That's right. We did this together. What do you have? You have, um... Crush- Oh, you use Cleeforts! <laughs> oh no, Cleeforts. Cleeforts are terrifying. Alright, fight for the future. Now we're fighting against Bruno, it looks like. Though Aporia was defeated, the Divine Temple was still coming down onto the city. We have to infiltrate the Divine Temple and stop it from crashing into New Domino City. No, you mustn't. Sherry, why not? Zone, the leader of Elaster, has shown me the future. You say, if you enter his Divine Temple... It's foretold that you'll not return. Ugh. If that's what's required of me to save the people of New Domino City, so be it. Yusei and his friends made it onto the Divine Temple and attempted to dis disable it. On the Divine Temple, Yusei met a familiar face. Ugh, I... I remember everything. Bruno? Is that you? What are you doing here? No, not Bruno. My name's Antimony. My memories have returned and now I remember my mission. I have travelled back in time to protect Zone and his Divine Temple from you. Just going to move this up a little bit. Uh, cool. Cool story, bro. You want to say it again? Like, really. Like, give me a bit more exposition. I feel like this... This season has, um... What are you? You're Rockman? You're absolutely Rockman. I feel like this campaign has, like... <laughs> the narration on it needs a lot of work. Like, the battle against Misty Treadwell, like, I've recently watched that episode of 5Ds because I was interested in Carly Carmine. Um, but that battle, like, she, this game doesn't mention it, she's actually, like, a, a famous model in this world. And, like, she's been trying to get Carly Carmine on her side for a long time. Well, relatively long, eh, I'm not sure. Her and Carly have had a meeting before, should I say. Alright, go ahead and set Scrap Iron. What are this? Graceful Revival. Do I can live to a lower monster in the graveyard, special summon it in attack mode? Okay, so it's just a... Um, I see. We'll do tuning. Ooh, we have some tuners. Unknown Zincron. Ooh, I like this. Let's see. I like the art. 
If you can, if your opponent controls monster, you control no monster, special summon it. So it's Cyber Dragon. Uh, once per duel. So it's a once per duel Cyber Dragon. Okay. Scarf sent to the graveyard for the synchro summon of a dragon type monster. That monster gained 800 attack. Also banish it until the end fades. Uh, what about you? Turbo Synchron. Uh, we've already seen you. So I guess we'll just go into the good old standard Chunk Synchron. And uh, start our Shaolong. Interesting. We'll just set Quillbolt Hedgehog here. I feel like we've got a okay defense. Depending on what he does. I don't know what Bruno uses. Or sorry, Antimony uses at all. Well, he's just copying me, apparently. That's fine. What is this? Necro Defender? That monster cannot be destroyed by battling. You take no battle damage involving... Okay. Uh, sure. Um, we're not going to summon that yet. We'll just set another card. We do have Scrap Iron Face Down, just in case something goes wrong. Or he summons something. Alright, seeing the backs of a lot of cards here. Well, three can play at that game. Are you even going to do anything, Antimony, that even is your real name? <laughs> Come on. What, are you doing, like, ghost tricks or something like that? Sure, you know what, let's summon Hypersynchron. And then we'll flip these two and get their, you know, bring out Stardust. Here we go. Okie dokie, cutscene. Stardust Dragon. Okay, 800 attack. Do we want to use Stardust Shaolong? Uh, no, that goes in attack mode. We don't want to do that. No, that's fine. Uh, sure, we'll attack. What is that? You're using TGs? Interesting. I would not have guessed that. Cool. Okay. We pass a turn. Wait, you're banished? Wow. Okay, that was not good. I didn't realize the thing banished. Ah, uh, what's that going to do? Okay. Sure. You tuning? Going to Hyper Librarian? Power Gladiator. I'm disappointed. Kinkabio. Interesting. Oh, you're piercing, huh? Okay. Let's do a rotor. Uh, hmm. If you control no monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. If you control a junk monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. Um, so do you want level 3? Three? 3, 6, 7, 8. We can go into another level 8 if we do that. Uh, come on, I want... Or we can do uh, 4, 7, 9. Now we want level 8, I think. Okay, just checking my phone here. Uh, let's go ahead and special summon this guy. Junk forward, let's go. Gravity collapse. When your opponent would special summon a monster, send one face up synchro monster you control to the graveyard, negate the effect, and if you destroy it. And I cannot summon a monster until the end of this turn. Oh, interesting, okay. What do you do? You special summon... Are you going into level 2? 5? Level 5? 
Okay, level two, first of all. Formula Synchron, there it is. Nice. And then tuning again, going into Hyper Librarian. Hyper Librarian! He's got it! Alright, punch me. Nice. Set a card. Cool. What are this? Weird. Alright. Let's go Junk Synchron. Oh, you're going for another Gravity Collapse, huh? Interesting. Alright, well. You don't have anything in your hand, my friend. Alright, we need to draw something we can summon. He's negated all of our summons so far. Uh, Scrap Iron is decent. And since he can destroy set cards, I'm going to set this as well. Alright. Defending, setting a card, okay. Tuning is good. We'll play this. Go into... Uh... Yeah, we'll go into Junk Synchron again. Ah, oh, we got rid of another tuning. That sucks. Alright, Junk Synchron. Use its effect. Go ahead and bring out... We'll bring out a level... We'll bring out this one. Three, four, five... And then we'll go ahead and do this thing. Quill Bolt in defense mode. And now we can go out into uh, level 7, huh? Banish one junk monster from your graveyard. Type one face up monster your opponent controls. Target loses attack equal to the banished monsters. As far as the damage step of this card, destroy attack defense pitch from monster, destroy the target. Okay. Don't think I want to go into that. I want to go into this. Uh, you can remove this card from play from your graveyard during your main phase. Like one monster you control, cannot be destroyed by battle and take no damage from battle involving that card. Uh, cool. This one just targets and destroys a monster, huh? Might as well. We'll target and blow up that thing. And then we'll go ahead and try to get an attack in. Oh, it worked. Nice. Alright, Antimony, you have nothing left to defend yourself with, it looks like. Okay. You get to draw two cards. Well, there's a defense, at the very least. Uh, once Trippy summons, first summon a Tuna monster from your hand or graveyard. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll tribute Quillbolt. It's banished. Bring this thing out. And then we'll bring out... Uh, we need to bring out level 3, right? Yeah. So I guess that'll be Junk Synchron. Let's go. Alright, special summon another copy of Stardust. Bada bing, bada boom. We got Stardust Dragoon. That should also be a card. Stardust Dragoon. I would love to have a Stardust Dragoon card. No, I will not use Stardust Shaolong. Alright. Dragon attacks. Cool. This thing attacks. Cool. Was looking a little dicey to begin with, but that's fine. Ooh, Reinforced Truth. I like it. Bring out TG Rush Rhino, going into whatever that thing was. We do have Scrap Iron and we do have a Stardust. Okay, go ahead, summon Synchron Explorer. <laughs> yeah, activate its effect. Uh, bring this thing out. Cool. And then we'll go out into yet a another Junk Warrior. We'll 
We'll put it on this side so that it flanks the Stardust Dragon. Cool, okay. This one attacks here. This one attacks here. And then this one finishes the game. Nice. Good job, Antimony. Bruno, are you okay? I am my friend, but my time is at an end. You say, I used to believe that destiny was written in stone, but you've always surpassed the impossible. Defeat Zone, to save New Domino City, and the future. Goodbye. Alright, you get, a uh, the Tech Genius. Oh, the Tech gen Genius. Is that what the TG stands for? Tech Genius? That's pretty cool. We get TG Wonder Magician. Okay. Ah, I... My nose, man. <sighs> Today is, like, one of the first really nice days outside. Um... That we've had in the UK recently. And I do have seasonal allergies. But the, that they're happening in February is a bit concerning for me. You say had to now confront Zone. Defeating him would save New Domino City and possibly the future. Ah, look at him. Welcome, Team 5Ds. Zone! We won't let you destroy New Domino City! Huh. That's a promise you will not be able to keep. If I do not destroy New Domino City now, the whole world will be, will be destroyed in the future. Is this not a small sacrifice for the bigger picture? Any future that requires even a single sacrifice is not a future worth living in. You say, take this. Red Dragon Archfiend. Don't forget my card. Black Winged Dragon. And mine. Black Rose Dragon. You totally gotta use Lunar and Mine cards too. Lifestream Dragon. Power Tool Dragon. Ancient Fairy Dragon. Jack, Leo, Luna, Akiza, Crow. Let's duel as one for our future. Okay, that's pretty hype. That's actually pretty hype. I love it when, when stuff like that happens. Like, I can feel my tears welling up already. You look like a rock man, but you're just a, you're just a little paper man, ain't you? You're a paper man zone. So they wouldn't have told us that we were given all of these cards if we didn't have those cards in our extra deck. What the heck? What? 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 <laughs> what? What's going on here? I don't know any of these cards. Oh, I know Miss Bird Claw Solus. I know that one. So, uh, Tatsunoko. Tuna plus one plus non-tuna monsters. If it's Synchro Summon... If the Synchro Summon monster would be used as a synchro material. One monster in your hand can be used as the other materials, unaffected by other monster effects. Okay. So you're a synchro tuner. Uh, you are, um, I can target one monster my opponent controls, and its attack becomes zero, and its negates are affected. Its effects are negated. Power tool dragon. Do we actually have life stream dragon in here? We do. Is life stream dragon actually out? I thought that was an anime exclusive card. Does require Power Tool Dragon. When this card is Synchro Summoned, you can make your life points become 4,000. You take no effect damage. If this face up card in the field would be destroyed, you can banish one equipped spell card from your graveyard instead. We also have Coral Dragon, which is another Dragon Synchro Tuner. You can target. You can discard a card once per turn, target one card your opponent controls, destroy it. Oh, okay, so it blows things up. If the Synchro Summoned card is sent to the, from the field to the graveyard, draw a card. You can only use this effect of Coral Dragon once per turn. Okay. Uh, and we have Ancient Fairy Dragon. I think this card is currently banned for some reason, but I don't know why it's banned. That's some level 4 or lower monster from your hand. Cannot conduct your battle phase this turn. You can destroy as many field spell cards in the field as possible, and gain a thousand life points for each one. And if you do, add a field spell card. Okay, there must be some field spell card that can be exploited with that. Uh, what is this? Excel Synchron? Send one Synchron monster from your deck to the graveyard and activate one of these effects. Increase the card level. If this is a tuner, it is a tuner. Increase the card level by the level of the sent monster. Reduce it by the level of the sent monsters. During your opponent's main phase, you gain quick effect immediately after this card resolves. Synchro summon using this card. Okay. I see. So it's got a very... Ooh, we actually get Goblin Bug to start off with. Four, five, six, seven. We go into level seven immediately. We can go into level seven or level four. Uh, hmm. We can go straight into Power Tool Dragon and start searching for equip cards. 
Anything else we can go into? Yeah, we can go into a few things. Okay, so we'll do Goblinberg. Activate. This is the uh, Zexal error card. Go into Junk Synchron. Go ahead and Synchro Summon. We'll do Powerful Dragon. I hope we have equip cards in our deck. If we don't, I'm going to feel a little stupid. Uh, okay, we have exactly three. Nice. So we're most likely going to get double tool C and D. Uh, and I said that just so that we wouldn't get it. Equip only to a machine monster. Once per turn you can activate this effect. It permanently gains 400 attack. Um, if the if it battles an opponent's monster, that monster's effect is negated during the battle phase only. Do we want to use it on Power Tool Dragon right now? Well, this card is a thing where if it would be destroyed, it can destroy the equip card instead. Sure, we'll activate this. There we go. One, two, three, four, five. We did not lose any card advantage here. Nice. <laughs> Alright, Zone. Show me what you... Ah, Dark Hole. Yep. Get rid of that. Card Destruction. Sure. Are you using Fables? Please tell me you're using Fables. Another Dark Hole? That, is that even legal? Oh no, you're using Time Lord shenanigans, I see. You have two Dark Holes? What do you do? Um, cannot be destroyed by battle of card effects. You take no battle damage from attacks involving this card. At the end of the battle phase, if this card is battled, half your opponent's life points. Once per sand by phase, during your turn, shuffle this card into the deck. Okay, so it's going to go bye-bye pretty soon. Like one monster with 500 less attack in your graveyard, special summon it, but effect negated. Uh, can only be used for the synchro material of a dragon type monster. So what dragons do we have? We have uh, Stardust, of course. Shooting Star and Quasar Dragon. We have Red Dragon Archfiend, Life Dream Dragon. Coral Dragon. Uh, I think Coral Dragon would be our best bet. Or do we have a level 2 in here? We do. We have Synchron Explorer. Cool. I'll go into Debris. You can't be targeted, can you? I'm not sure if you can be targeted, Time Lord. Cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects. Okay, that's fine. During your next turn, though, you are going to be, you know, sent to the Shadow Realm. No, you're going to be sent back to the deck next turn. Alright, so Coral Dragon. I'll use Coral Dragon's effect. Discarding Quill Bolt. Destroy that thing. Empty Machine. Infinite Machine directly from your hand. What does the Infinite Machine do? I don't know what inf Infinite Machine does. Uh, okay. So that's not... Get destroyed, okay. That's fine. Go ahead. Discard level 10 monster draw card, okay. Inf infinity machine. Dog one time Lord Monster in your graveyard, shuffle it into the deck, set one infinity infinite light directly from your hand to your deck. Okay. Interesting. Mitrion goes back. Bring out another. Bring out Camion. Twin to. No! Hey. Don't do that. That's not cool. What did that do? I uh, cannot be destroyed by your opponent card effects. Neither player can target Time Lord Monster Control with card effects. Return Time Lord Monster, or return Time Lord Monster from the field to the deck. Okay, so Time Lord Monster stay. 
Once per turn, if you control a monster, you can special summon up to one Time Lord monster from your hand, deck, and graveyard with different names. Oh, okay, from all of them. Okay. Uh, let's see, what do you do? At the end of the battle phase, if this card battles, shuffle one opponent to the deck, and if you do, inflict 5 attempts to your opponent. Now let's play can activate card to effect in response to this. Once per turn, during your time by phase, shuffle this into the deck. Uh, interesting. I think we just wait. Yeah, Kamian stays. Uh, I can Monster Reborn, interestingly enough. Oh, this you can't be destroyed by battle, right? Uh, okay. What are we gonna do? I think we wait again. Needlebug Nest, okay. You have three Dark Holes in your frickin' deck. You little cheater, you. Do we have a Nitro Monster? Um, look like we do not have a Nitro Monster. Okay, how are we going to get around this? So, I have Monster Reborn. Seven, we can go out into level nine. But, uh, we don't have a level nine. I guess we're just trying to go out into Shooting Star Quasar Dragon. Shooting Quasar Dragon here. Uh, oops. Okay, what do you do? How do you work? Can be special in other ways. Requires Tuna Synchro and two or more non-Tuna Synchro monsters. Okay, so we could use, uh... Actually, no, we can't. Do we just wait again? I think we just wait again. Yeah, let's wait again. I'm not sure if Zone can even do anything right now. It doesn't look like Zone can even do anything. Shuffle one card your opponent controlled into the deck. Uh, I wonder, does this count? I'll go ahead and I'll put both of these down. Does this count? Will he still will he still have battled if I negate the the attack? Okay. I'm just gonna not then, if that's okay. You immediately after this card resolves, synchro summon this card using a card you control. <laughs> Okay, so you can synchro summon on their turn. I see, I see. Uh, okay, we're gonna bring uh, Chunk Synchro on here. Are we actually just gonna, you know, wait and deck out? Uh, someone allows us to use materials from the hand, right? Is it Tatsunoko? Uh... Use a synchro material, one monster in your hand can be used as one of the other materials. Uh, yeah, we can do that. So if we go out into Tatsunoko, we can then use Clear Effector. A synchro monster that used this card's material can't be destroyed by card effects. What does this do again? Okay, this thing just allows you to special summon a Time Lord monster. If you have, it's a Valhalla for Time Lord monsters. And this card can't be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. Okay. So, I think maybe we want to go out into Tatsunoko. Do we have a level 1 in here? Uh, we have Turbo Synchron. <laughs> Not quite the one that we need, though. We have got two Quill Bolts, though. So three, four, five, six, seven. Well, we can black rose this stuff, can't we? Oh, but no, this thing can't be destroyed. Uh, five. We can go to Excel Synchron. Send one Synchron monster from your deck to the graveyard. Activate one of these effects. Uh, Synchro summon using cards you control. Okay. 
Uh, I don't see what we do here. I'm just going to pass. Camion. Okay. Yeah, sure. What are this? You have five or more dragons, synchro monsters with different names in your graveyard. Special summon dra Stardust Dragon from your extra deck. As a synchro summon. Banished during the end phase. Equipped with this card. While equipped, gains attack equal to the combined attack of all dragon synchro monsters in your graveyard. Also, while equipped, when it destroys an opponent's monster by battle, you can banish one dragon synchro monster from your graveyard. It can attack your opponent monster again in a row. <laughs> but this thing, you don't take damage from this thing, right? You take no damage from attacks involving this card. At the end of the battle phase of this card battle, shuffled one card your opponent controlled into the deck and inflict 500 damage to your opponent. Now the player can activate cards in response to this. Okay. <laughs> Uh, let's see. I don't know the out here. Like, Tatsunoko is pretty cool. I like the idea of Tatsunoko. We'll be used as synchro material. One monster in your hand can be used as the other one. Unaffected by other monster effects. So if we actually get out Tatsunoko, it can't be affected by Time Lord Man. But we can't get out Tatsunoko just yet. Because we don't have a level 1 monster to target for it. Wait, no, 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 we do, we do, we do. Okay, watch this. Junk Synchron. Activate its effect. Go out into uh, Turbo Synchron. Then we do Quillbolt Hedgehog. Now we have the monster that we need. Oh, yeah, now we can bring out that thing. Uh, but we can't target monsters with effects, can we? Okay, that's an okay, let's go. Uh, okay, Tatsunoko comes to the field. Can't be affected by other monster effects. Three... We can go into five. Which is XL Synchron. But we don't want to do that. We don't have five or more Dragon Synchro monsters in the graveyard. We don't even have one. No. We don't even have one. Okay. Uh, we'll just pass our turn here. Tatsunoko is out on the field, at least. Thanks for returning that to my deck. Are we just going to try and deck you out? <laughs> yeah, but we can't target stuff. Darn it. <laughs> you can't do anything. You set a monster? You can do that? What even is that thing? Shining Angel, okay. Go into Time Maiden. Treat as two tributes for the tribute summon of a Time Lord monster. You can tribute this card, add one Time Lord monster with zero attack from your deck to your hand. You can banish this card from your graveyard, special summon one Time Lord monster from your deck, ignoring summoning condition. That sounds really bad. Uh, can we get rid of that somehow? I want to get rid of it. Three, four, five, six, seven. We can go into level seven, which would be what? What would that be? That'd be Black Rose Dragon. We could also do Ancient Fairy Dragon. Sure, I mean... I mean, here's the thing, we can do Breakthrough Skill, but I don't think it'll negate Time Maiden. <laughs> this card can be treated as two tributes with the tribute summon of a Time Lord monster, so he can bring out another Time Lord monster. Thing is, we can't get rid of this thing. Face of card cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects, so we, we need to bounce it. And I don't think we have a way to bounce something. If only we had uh, Junk Archer.
Let's pretend. Remove all further counters. Target one. Once you're opponent controlled. And if bad, nope, not good. What do you do? You take no effect damage. If this space out card on the field would be destroyed, banish an equipment card from it instead. I mean, we could do. I don't even know what we could do. Can we go into Coral Dragon again? Three zip. We could go into Coral Dragon. But that's not a good idea. Six, seven, eight, we go. We could actually go into Coral Dragon and then we can go into. Uh, what could we go into? So you allow us to synchro someone on. On the turn, huh? On the opponent's turn. Okay, so we do these two Coral Dragon. Uh, Coral Dragon, discard, destroy, Time Maiden. And then a Camion blows us up. Returns us back to the deck. Three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, hmm. Well equipped when it destroys an opponent multiply battle. Uh can he not be destroyed? Oh no no no, you you are summoned because I remember. Right. Well let's try it. I think this means we're gonna lose, but we'll try it. Tune these two together, go out into Coral Dragon. Coral Dragon comes up. Activate effect. Uh, what will we discard? I think we want to discard breakthrough skill, honestly. So we'll do that. We'll blow this thing up. This face up card cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. Six, seven, eight. We can go into level eight. I mean, but Camion doesn't do anything about that. Sure, I guess we'll do Stardust Dragon, right? Come to the field in defense mode. It's just going to get bounced back, and we're going to take another five hundred damage. Clear effect turn. Uh, oh, Coral Dragon has an effect. If the single time is sent to the graveyard, draw a card. Oh yeah, absolutely. We get to draw two cards. Nice. Uh, okay, we can't do anything else about that. So, how many do did that? Is this thing a? It's a worm, not a dragon. Okay. We'll just set double tool C and D here. Try and bait out something. He's going to bounce back our Stardust Dragon. You you can do that. You're tributing too. Going out into another Time Lord. Fifteen hundred, huh? <laughs> we can Cannon Soldier. Uh, we can do eight, nine, ten, eleven. We don't have any good level 11s. We have no level 11s. So we need a Tuna Synchro Monster. Um, take no battle damage at the end of battle phase. Once per turn during standby phase, off this into the deck. So there was something about inflicting damage to me, right? Oh, at the end of the battle phase of this card, battle half your opponent's life points. I see. Thing is, we can't get rid of it because of infinite light. Once per turn, if you control no monsters, special summon up to 
One time Lord Monster each... Yeah, no, Infinite Light is problematic. If we can get rid of Infinite Light, we can get things going. Problem is he started off pretty, pretty good. <laughs> Dream went to Mage Maze immediately after the card resolved. Synchro Summon using it is not going to work. <laughs> While equipped, Scar gains attack equal to the attack of all combined. No, not going to work. We have no way out. <laughs> not, not yet, at least. He's just going to keep halving our life points. Uh, we can go to Power Tool Dragon, uh, Life Stream Dragon though. Take no effect damage. You're you're also a freaking tuner. You're like the highest synchro level tuner. Do you need a specific tuner to be summoned? No, you but you do need Power Tool Dragon in order to be synchro summoned. I see, I see. Well, we can't do anything about that. Okay, we'll just pass. <laughs> yeah, half my life points again, you coward. Let's guard norm summon, target one synchron monster in your graveyard, special summon it, but it's effect negated. What synchron monster do we even have? We have turbo synchron. Last guard is level 3, which is not good. We have, uh... Another Synchron Explorer. <laughs> we can go into Junk Synchron. So that'll be 3, 4, 5. We can go into level 7. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, Ancient Fairy Dragon. Is this the one we need to go into? Once per turn, destroy as many field spells on the field as possible if you gain a thousand life point. Then you add a field spell card from your deck to your hand. <laughs> um, sure, I guess we'll try that, right? I don't think it's going to get us anywhere, but we'll try it. Activate Synchron Explorer. Synchron Explorer goes out into uh, Junk Synchron. <laughs> I think we're literally just going to win this by deck out. Uh, whoops, no, not that. We then go to Quillbolt. Whoops. Uh, we can actually go into this first. Does this give us anything when we... What is this? This is a, not a quick effect. Okay, but it does stay. Okay. Um... What would we tune that with? We could tune it with Quillbolt Hedgehog. Three, that'll be five. How do we go out into this? One tune a Synchro Monster. Oh, we can reduce the level of our monster. So that's ten. We need to reduce it by four? No, we need to reduce it by three. Do we have another Synchron Monster in our deck, though? That's level three. We have one Junk... I think we might. We absolutely might. But what will Shooting Star Dragon give us? You can target the attacking monster. Banish this garden if you didn't get these. But I can't target! One tuner synchro monster. Two or more non tuner synchro monsters. Yeah, but they can't also they also can't be destroyed. Can't be destroyed by battle of card effects. See? Told you. But we could indeed go out into um can we even do this? A tuna synchro monster, two or more non tuna synchro monsters. <laughs> oh um at level twelve. Um eight, nine, ten. If only we could get formula synchron out. Wait, no, but that's a tuna. That's a tuna synchro. <laughs> Misbed Clausolus. 8, 9, 10, 11. 
Maybe we need to reduce... The thing is... It's not working. Nothing's working. Um, but we will go to Axel Synchron first of all. Here we go. Okay. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And what can we go into? Ancient Fairy Dragon and Rose Dragon. I mean, Ancient Fairy Dragon is probably going to be our best bet, I think. So we'll do this, we'll just put it in defense mode. Ah, uh, whoops. Okay, attack mode then. That's fine. Why not? Again, we just don't take any more damage. I can special summon level 4 or lower monster from my hand, but I can't battle this turn. Seven, uh, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Do we have a level uh, ten or eleven that we can go into? No, only one we can go into is Shooting Star Dragon, and that needs a Tuna Synchro Monster, which we'd need to go into Formula Synchron for, which we can't do just yet. So that's fine. That's a okay. We'll just pass. <laughs> Hey, I thought I didn't take any effect damage. Ugh, Debris Dragon? What, what can we even use Debris Dragon for? I don't even know what we use Debris Dragon for. I guess we could use Debris Dragon, go into, like, Excel Synchron, use his effect. I'm really not seeing anything here. Like, none of our cards gets us out of this. Shooting Star Dragon might. Shoot, sorry, Shooting Quasar Dragon. Because this thing can negate anything. And especially someone shooting Star Dragon from the deck. So, Shooting Star Dragon isn't a target, and neither is Shooting Quasar Dragon. So we need to work our way up to this. Um, but we can't really do that right now. So I think we're literally just waiting for something, I guess. There's another... Shining Angel is a Nova Summoner. Okay, go out into Time Maiden if you wish. Fine by me. I'll end my turn. Should have turned Stardust into attack mode, honestly. Yeah, go ahead. Sandion, Timer. Okay, you go out into another Time Lord, okay. Uh, what? You're gonna inflict massive damage to me? Yep, okay, cool. Synchro summon Power Tool Dragon and equip it with a spell card to negate Time Lord Monster's effect. Uh, okay. I mean, we'll try that again. Synchro summon Power Tool Dragon? And then negate but well, we synchro summoned power tool dragon immediately and it got fucked. Uh, okay, and we do not start off strong at all. Set breakthrough, set converging. Go ahead and uh summon cannon soldier. Why do we even have this thing? <laughs> Alright, you're going into Mishion. Card destruction, okay.
Betsy, what do you do? Return as many monsters on the field as possible to the hand, and then inflict 300 damage to your opponent for each one sent. And what do you do? You just half my life points. <laughs> uh, sure, I will activate breakthrough skill on that one. Get wrecked. Okay, we do have tuning. We'll go ahead and we'll bring out uh, junk. Excuse me. Ooh, level eater. Fantastic. Wish we saw that last time. Okay, we'll summon cannon soldier. And then we'll go into attack mode, and I will... Yeah, do that, and then activate from my graveyard, breakthrough skill. Targeting that. Say goodbye to your other Time Lord monster. Main phase 2, set another breakthrough skill. And then we can negate the next two Time Lords that come out. Needle bug nest, okay. Ooh, never seen that one before. What do you do? Take no battle limit. At the end of the battle phase, if the card inflicts battle damage, inflict damage to your opponent equal to the attack of one monster your opponent controls. That battle, this turn. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna activate breakthrough skill again. Targeting that. You take a bit more damage. Main phase two, you set a card, okay. Hopefully it helps you. Uh, do we win? I think we win now. Goblinberg. Goblinberg into... Who has higher attack? Definitely Junk Synchron. Into Junk Synchron. Goblinberg goes to defense. Uh, what, can we do anything here? We could go into Power Tool Dragon. This card would be equipped while well, equipped destroyed when we send one of those cards to the graveyard instead. Um, my nose is getting a bit cloggy here. So that's what for two thousand seven hundred. We then tribute, tribute, tribute. Okay, let's see if this works. Boom, boom, and we win. Main phase two, Cannon Soldier Tribute Goblinberg, inflicts 500, do that again, Cannon Soldier Tributes Chunk Synchron, bada boom, and then Cannon Soldier Tributes itself, and we win. Okay, <laughs> couldn't have been any different, the two duels that we just had there. The Crimson Dragon transported all of Yusei's friends to safety, leaving Zone and Yusei alone. Impossible! I lost? Does this mean I was wrong? Everything I did was for the worse? Zone, you are simply misguided. You believe that the future cannot be changed. I believe that the future is something that we have yet to create. And I believe that the people of New Domino City will not let your future come to pass. That's why I will stop the Divine Temple from crashing into my city, even if it costs me my life. You say entered the Divine Temple's NAD reactor. It's been real. Goodbye. No, I cannot allow someone as noble as you to perish from this world. The Divine Temple vanished from above New Domino City. It seemed as if Yusei vanished along with it. Yusei! 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 Yusei. No, Yusei. Wait, look over there! It's Yusei! He made it! Zone must have used the rest of his strength to save me. Thank you, Zone. Chalk one more up for victory for Team 5Ds. We saved the world again. Did we really? Maybe Zone's future will still come to pass. How do you know what the future really has in store for us? We can't. We can't. We can never know what awaits us in the future. But I can't wait to find out with my friends by my side. Okay, what do you use? You use... You use Vylons? Interesting. 
It suits your aesthetic, but come on, violence? Right, future path. With the help of his friend, bleh. with the help of his friend, Yuse stopped the Divine Temple from crashing into New Domino City. Six months later, Yuse created a fortune, created fortune, a computer program designed to control entities safely. Meanwhile, Lazar was sworn in as the new mayor of Domino City. As the new and first ever mayor of this fine city, my first order is to reunite the city, is to return the city to its people, by having a government run by elected officials. Well, Lazar's the mayor? That's crazy. But then again, if I can join sector security, anything can happen. Congratulations, Professor Fido. Please don't call me Professor. That's my father, not me. No need to feel embarrassed. You far exceeded your father's expectations. Your fortune program will supply New Domino City with unlimited energy. So New Domino City will be the hub that connects cities all around the world. Yeah, future's looking up. Now that the future zone predicted won't come to pass. But I can't take all the credit. My friends and I did it together as a team. Yes, yes, of course. Always thinking about your team. Now that you've completed your program, you should take some time for yourself. Breathe the air, travel the world, decide what you want to do from now on. But to be honest, I hope you'll stay in New Domino City. But the decision is yours. Later, you say. Hey, you say, long time no see. Too busy to see your pal? Sorry, it took longer than I expected to finish my program. But you did, right? Nice, you say. Thanks. So how are things with you? Ugh, Trudge has me patrolling the streets day and night. I don't remember the last time I got more than an hour of sleep, but hey, can't complain. Who would have thought that I'd ever be a cop, right? City sure has changed. No, we changed it. Together. As a team. You're right. Team 5Ds forever. Speaking of 5Ds, why don't we all get together this weekend? It's been more than a while. <laughs> That's a great idea. I'm sure everyone will show up. Except for one guy who's kinda hard to get in touch with. Yeah, Jack. You still haven't heard from him? Nope. I wonder where he's at. I'll give him a buzz, but don't keep your hopes up. I can't believe your dueling is still improving. Any weaknesses you had and you barely had any to start with are gone. I didn't stand a chance. Your skill- Ah, oh, there he is! There, there's the outfit. There's his non-dark signer form. Your skills have reached a new level, but by the look on your face, you're still not satisfied, are you? No. I won't be satisfied until I defeat a certain someone. Hey, you say! Hi! Miss me? Akiza, Leo, Luna! It's great to see you. Oh, am I the last one here? Crow, you're way late. So late that we already finished partying and we're about to go home. Whoa, that late? He's joking. We haven't even started yet. Later that night. Yeah, it's nice keeping up with New Domino City safe and everything, but... But? Well... Huh? Ah, uh, forget about me. What's up with you, Akiza? What are y'all gonna do after you graduate? Because I think you should hit uh, hit the pro leagues. With your skill, any team would be lucky to have you. Don't choose my career path for me. Maybe I don't want to turn pro. Ugh, sorry if I struck a nerve. People are always telling me what I should do, like I don't have a choice in the matter. Uh, all you want to... You'll want to take it down a few degrees, because Luna and I have some news to tell you. Our mum and dad sent us a message today, saying that we should all live together again. Oh, that's great news. So why are you guys down in the dumps? Because... We'll have to leave New Domino City. Oh. Leo, Luna. We still haven't decided yet if we're going to move or not, but we're wondering what we should do. Because we love you guys. We don't want to leave New Domino City. I'm so confused. Crow, Akiza. Just like with Leo and Luna, I can tell you're wondering what you should do with your lives. Why else would you get so upset over innocent questions? Crow, I know you received another offer from a top pro league overseas. You do? And Akiza, you've been accepted to study abroad at one of the best medical school schools in the world. Uh, how did you know? Your parents told me. Akiza, you're going to be a doctor? I... I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Jack, where have you been? Training. Training for what? I received an invitation from Ride Ace, the world's greatest dual league. So I'm leaving New Domino City, because I don't want to be just the king of a city, but the king of the whole world. You're never going to stop trying to be king, are you? Of course not. Wouldn't you want to test your skills against the world? You say, 
I know they sent you an invitation too. Yeah, they did. Of course they did. It'd be nuts if Yusei didn't get an invite from every duel league in every nation. Yusei, what are you going to do? I'm not sure. I was so focused on my fortune program that I thought of nothing else. But now that that's finished, you might not know what to do, but I do. We've accomplished everything we could as a team, so now I'm going to create my own legacy. I will defeat everyone who stands in my way, even Team 5Ds. Gee, thanks. Jack, let's duel. You want to duel me? Whenever I'm not sure about what to do, dueling always clears my mind. Very well, because if I want to take on the world, I must be good enough to defeat you first. Jack, can you believe that this is our first duel since the Fortune Cup? We've been dueling side by side for so long that I've almost forgotten that we dueled against each other. Same here, but dueling with you instead of against you were some of my most favourite days. Yeah, but we can't live in the past. I've yearned to duel you again and now it's the time. That's right, so let's give it our all. You don't need to tell me twice. Alright, I actually enjoyed that. That was pretty good. I liked it. I feel tears welling up in my eyes right now. Like, no, I'm serious. This stuffing nose might be because of hatred, but it might also be because I'm a sentimental person. Like, come on. Everywhere. Like, I feel like it's very relatable that you can, uh, you know, that once you've done something, you don't know what to do with the rest of your life. I'm currently in that situation right now. I finished university and now I'm working McDonald's. So, I don't, you know, I don't really want to stay at McDonald's for too long. But what am I going to do? I don't know. I don't, I don't have a path to go to. So, that's why I'm playing Yu-Gi-Oh! right now. <laughs> Anyway, uh, ooh, Starlight Junction. Tribute on Tuna Monster, special summon Synchro Monster from your deck with a different level than that tributed. During your opponent's turn, if you special summon a Synchro Monster from your extra deck, target one card on the field, shuffle it into the deck. Okay, what do we have in here? Uh, okay, looks like we have the good old favorites. Uh, so, we're going to start off by activating tuning. We better have Quick Draw Synchron in here. We absolutely do have Quick Draw Synchron. Alright. Quick Draw. Sending Debris Dragon. We'll go ahead and use Quick Draw Synchron to summon itself. Uh, sending this. Come on out, Quick Draw. Then we'll do this. Let's go. Quill Bolt to the field, defense mode. Uh, five, six, seven. We can go out into Nitro Warrior. Um, do we have a level nine that we can go into? Mm, no, we don't. Okay. I'll activate Starlight Junction. And we could use it right now. Especially on the Synchron Monster from your deck with a different level than that. Or than the tributed monster had on the field. <sighs> okay. Uh, right. Tag one synchron monster in your graveyard, special summon it, but its effects are negated. So we can actually go into two level sevens here. So we can go into Nitro Warrior, and then we'll go into another Nitro Warrior, because we can, even though we're losing a lot of cards. Now, we're not going to do that, actually. We're just going to, we're just going to let it slide for now. Alright, go ahead, Jack. If that even is your real name. We didn't even see the fake jackpot. I'm glad we didn't summon again. Cool. Two cards face down. We get Sonic Warrior. This card sent to the graveyard, all level 2 or lower monster you currently control, gain 200 attack. Okay, let's play it safe. Let's go Speed Warrior. Alright, battle phase. Speed Warrior doubles its attack. And then we hit directly. 1800. Very nice. Uh, okay. Just checking my notes here. Uh, what's going on? Summon in that thing and that thing? Okay, you can go out immediately into Red Dragon Archfiend. Alright, very nice. How am I going to get over this?
Ooh, say goodbye to my starlight. Nice. Okay. Uh, let's see. Go ahead and play Synchron Explorer. Activate this effect. Bring out Quick Draw. We can go out into level 7 here. Um, uh, actually, we can't do anything. Do we lose? I think we lose. We'll surrender. We'll try again. Summon Junk Warrior with leveled. <laughs> Tips! Listen, game. Shut up. Okay? Shut up. I, I get it. I get it, okay? I know what Junk Warrior does. And I know there's a card in the in the deck that increases the attack of all level 2 or lower monsters currently on the field by 500. You don't need to tell me. I know. I know. Ooh, Doppel Warrior. Uh, how are we going to do this? Target one synchron monster in your graveyard, special summon it, but the effect negated. <laughs> Only one monster from the hand to the graveyard. What would we do? You know what, let's set Nitro Synchron for now. <laughs> Vice Dragon, very nice. Dark Resonator, alright. Red Dragon Archfiend, let's go. <laughs> Ooh, Synchron Resonator. Monster Reborn. Oh, you're going into something else? You can go into level 6? Oh no, you're just going to pummel me, okay. <laughs> That's fine. Very, very fine. Alright, so here's what we do. Scrap Iron's pretty good. We'll special summon Quick Draw by discarding Sonic Warrior. Is it Sonic Warrior we need to discard? <laughs> yeah. Uh, 